And I think this event in Japan could serve as a huge wake-up call for people. It really is time that we put the world back on the right track. It really is time that we realized what's going on. It really is time that we looked at this whole money-based structure that we've created, well, that's been created for us, and realized that it's all fictional. It's this dependence upon this interest-based system and putting a dollar value on everything that has created the situation that we are now facing. And it is an opportunity, folks. It's an opportunity for humanity to wake up to itself. And we seriously need to do it, folks, because because if we don't, then we are going to continue the decline in our species that we are now seeing. And it is a decline, folks, and things such as the Venus Project aren't going to save it. We don't need a resource-based economy. We don't even need to pull a quarter of the resources out of the planet that we do. We don't need to do anything the way we do. It's just messed up. It really is. The one thing that does disturb me about the Venus Project is I simply don't see where people fit into it. It's just a machine. The whole city looks like a machine. It looks like Agenda 21, to be honest. I mean, these concentrated pockets of humanity protecting all the resources and basing its whole economy on the extraction of resources, it just seems like Agenda 21. And something that I find incredibly disturbing about the Venus Project is the proposition of 50-storey towers growing food hydroponically. This will remove all life force from food because none of it will see the sun. And I won't touch hydroponic food. I never have, I never will. It's, it's chemical food. I mean, it may look nice, but it doesn't contain any life force. So that is one thing that I found to be particularly disturbing about the Venus Project. I mean, should humanity change the path that it's on? Absolutely it should. And sure, the Venus Project, I'm sure, has some merit. But to simply take that design on board as the new society that we need to create, well, frankly, I couldn't live there, folks, and I don't want any part of it. I prefer to be living in a food forest. I prefer to be simply granted a quarter acre block from birth and be able to be free to build my food forest and house on that block because that would then support me for the rest of my life. I think that would work for most of the world. In fact, I think there are very easy ways out of all the situation that we face if we simply apply a little practicality and common sense. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you again today. We're about at the end of the show here. I'm having trouble with PayPal at the moment. They're asking for photo ID and all sorts of things, even though I've had the account going for three years now. They're asking me to confirm my account or they're about to restrict my account. So it looks like the donations will have to stop for a while, folks, until I can sort out another way of setting something up because I'm not going to give... PayPal any photo ID. I'm simply not going to comply with their wishes. There are no photographs of me online and I'm certainly not going to send a photograph to an online company that I've never met anybody in the company. I don't have any photographs of them and so I don't see why they should have any photographs of me. So the struggle does continue folks and it is a struggle for just about all of us. I am definitely struggling. The powers that be are definitely taking steps to try to close me down. The website has been getting hacked again. The difficulty that I'm now experiencing with PayPal, blah, blah, blah. There's all sorts of things. They try lots of methods, folks. But but I will get back to you in another week, and I'll let you know where that stands. In the meantime, if anybody would like to make a donation... Donations can now be made by mail and you can send any donations to help to P.O. Box 1803, Byron Bay, New South Wales, Australia, postcode 2481. And that will just have to remain the website's source of income for the moment until I can sort out this PayPal situation. 
and thank you for the support that you have all shown me in the past. It has been very, very gratifying, and it is truly the only thing that has kept the website and the radio shows and the films and all the things that I do coming. It's, it's the only thing that has provided any stability for the site at all. In fact, folks, I opened the Crow House and put everything up there for free as an experiment to see if there was any heart left in humanity. I truly believe that if I put myself in a position of unconditional giving and if I was in my heart and if the information that I was giving to people was, was my truth and, and was valuable and was helpful information, then the universe would give back and the universe would ensure that I was looked after and would ensure that I was able to continue putting out this information. And you have all proved me to be correct. You've all proved to me what a difference can be made to this world simply by putting yourself in a state of service to the creation and simply by treating others as if they are yourself. I've done it all for you. I've done it all for the people of the world. I feel a great empathy for everybody, folks. I feel a huge empathy for what's happening in Japan. I honestly feel connected to everybody on the planet, without exception. I even feel connected to the rulers of our planet, the psychopathic elites who are doing all this terrible stuff. I don't hate them, folks. I simply think they're polarized, and I believe that what they are doing is providing us with opportunities. So thank you all very much for proving me to be correct in my assertions about how energy is reciprocated when energy that's given is pure. So that is about it for me today, folks. So thank you very much for spending this time with me today. It's been a pleasure, as it always is. Please take care in this troubled period that humanity finds itself in. And I'll look forward to speaking to you next week. In La Cache.